Thank you very much. Comments all. Uh, good evening. Let me first of all thank uh, the JTOM women for keeping on the front burner an issue which otherwise would have gone unnoticed, but an issue which even though if it would have gone unnoticed would continue to deeply affect the lives of many people, so many people in our society here in Trinidad and Tobago, but more specifically uh, affect in a more concise and direct way the lives of working women and women in general. And so when the budget was read some seven weeks ago and, and, and comrades and, and all our uh, people who are viewing and listening here would now think back and say, wait, it's seven weeks since this thing was read? Yes, it's seven weeks ago, actually, sometime on the, around the 5th of October, the budget was read in the, uh, in the parliament. Two weeks later, or thereabout, it was passed in both houses. And then it became a reality that what was said in the budget is now, as, uh, is now facing the people of Trinidad and Tobago, and of course, women. And so our women folks, our sisters, who are responsible for, in general, uh, you know, we sometimes, take lightly the responsibility of women who undertake the enormous responsibility and task that it is done so seamlessly and so easy that we take it for granted. And the chair of the of this forum of, of the JTAMS women, Robert Sister Sati Gajida in this earlier would have highlighted some of the things that uh, women do on a daily basis, that which we take for granted. And may I say at this point that I'm, I'm grateful, eternally grateful, because were it not for a woman, I would not have been here speaking here this afternoon. And of course, the nurturing that took place from cradle to where I, uh, where I am. So I thank, thank my mother and all the mothers for that. But that women who are working have an extremely difficult role to play, because as was highlighted, that in terms of the, the kids and the children and the virtual classes and the virtual classroom and so on, at the end of the day, something has to give. It's either the education of the children to be compromised or the, or the uh, ability to earn or to work will be curtailed. And what about the women who are single mothers? And the women who through these two measures in this budget, where no particular attention was paid to their plight, are uh, today unemployed. The women who, who lose, who had a drastic reduction in income. And of course, as we all know, working side by side with the male counterpart who receives much less, not only in terms of, of uh, financial, uh, remuneration, but also much less in terms of the respect from the employer. And uh, the uh, increasing impact of food costs and the cost of transportation, increasing uh, cost of, of fuel and all the other costs that was stacked on on the, uh, on the shoulders of the citizen in this country, at the end of the day, it is the women, our women, who continue to feel the brunt of the burden. And so I was happy earlier, very happy uh, earlier on this year when the women of JTAM uh, occupying leadership role in the joint trade union movement. And of course, at the level of their own trade unions, their respective trade unions, they would have come to the uh, JTAM's uh, leadership requesting authorization to hold a symposium to establish women's subcommittee to advance uh, issues facing women in particular, um, and in particular, the ratification of ILO Convention 189 and 190. Of course, uh, Convention 189, Domestic Workers Convention of 2011, and Convention 190, Violence and Harassment uh, Convention of 2019. And it was 
we must remind ourselves of these very significant dates, these hallmark dates in our history. And so it was on April 16th uh, this year, earlier this year, uh, the Jatam women, and I don't know of any parallel situation or any uh, precedent of, like this in the past coming out of the umbrella movement, but that it was on April 16th earlier this year, the entire the uh, Jeta women organized a uh, women's symposium. And may I remind all that we that symposium was addressed by a very prominent esteemed citizen of this country, a woman, Anna Deborah Thomas Felix. And that set the tone, set the sail for dealing with women's issue. And you know, many times, may I just say at this point, many times it is our observance, all of these issue, all of these forum, these launching of these initiatives are done with great fanfare. And then that's all you hear from it. Then no, nothing more comes out of it. So I am happy this afternoon to see as a follow-up that this JTOM's women, the, uh, this powerful arm of JTOM is functioning to the point where a national budget was read. It's impacting significantly on the citizens, more directly on women, and that you, are, you all as, as JTOM women are prepared to set aside the time away from the normal rigors of the trade union work and so on, but to deal with women issues as the budget impact women in this country. And not just working women, but women in general. And that speaks to the modus operandi of the joint trade union movement. Because in JTOM, we take the position, this strong and very firm position that in spite of the importance of industrial relations issue, and may I remind all that it is those issues are important. It is our raison d'etre. And therefore, the uh, matters at the court and matters at the ministry and matters, bilateral matters and so on, negotiations, all of those issues, in spite of the very important nature of those issues, to which we have the first responsibility to our members, we in the Joint Trade Union movement see it a little broader than that. It goes way beyond those boundaries. And it extends to the unemployed and those who are without a voice. And therefore, this evening's discussion will also encompass not just working women, but all women uh, throughout Trinidad and Tobago are ought, to be, uh, ought to come under the ambit of this discussion, where at the end of the day, we, it is hoped that you can formulate a strategy that would encompass the involvement of not just working women, but all women uh, in general. I urge my, uh, my comrades, my male comrades, to continue to, and I say continue because I know that there's a lot of support coming from the, um, the male uh, leaders of JTOM, but that we continue to give our firm support for all the initiatives of the JTOM women so that it can derive the outcome that it deserves and that was intended from inception. And so it gave me great pleasure here this afternoon to identify with this virtual forum and this initiative. And I wish you a great success. If there's anything at any point in time that the leaders, the male leaders can do to support uh, going forward, the JTOM women, we are just one shoulder away as we socially distance in this period of COVID. Thank you very much and have a successful forum.